Sugar and Curls Kitchen and we have the fabulous Zoe here from Zoe Fancy Cakes. Hi, Are you pleased to be here Zoe? I'm very pleased to oh, be here. Oh, we're not half as pleased as I am. I'm nervous. <laughs> you are, I am pleased. I cannot <laughs> believe you are nervous. She did tell me before that she was nervous. I said, are you looking forward to coming out on tonight? And she said, yeah, but I am nervous. I went, God, this girl's amazing. She makes the most amazing fancy cake toppers, hence fancy, fancy cakes, so is fancy cakes. The stuff that she does is beautiful. If you have ever seen her at the cake shows and what go over to her stand, absolutely gorgeous. And she's going to show you a couple of things tonight. She's got one set of things to show you, but we're hoping she's going to have enough time to show you something else. And Richard, <laughs> her husband, is in the kitchen and he suggested it, so yay, yay. So <laughs> let's go on this. To I know, we need to get into <laughs> it. Work so, and then we're going to talk to you about what Zoe does. So, Zoe has um, a fantastic shop in Leeds. So, where about some Leeds are you? Uh, so, we're in Horsforth in Leeds. Horsforth is just a little village town in Leeds. Yeah. Right, fantastic. Quite quiet there. Yeah. Um, and we have a little cake shop. Um, we make cakes there to pre order, and we also run lots of classes as well as selling cake decorating equipment as well. So did you get that? So you guys over there in Leeds or it's out of Yorkshire, if you want to come over to Zoe's shop, attend classes, then not only does Zoe do it, I found out tonight that her husband does it as well. And he's a bit hunky, he is. So if you want a man <laughs> teaching you how to do something, he'll teach you how to ganache a cake, won't you, Richard? I can add my skills there. <laughs> and he looks good as well. What more can you have? A good eye candy, eh? And you a lucky girl. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, so she's got a fantastic shop there. She's also a stockist of sugar and crumbs, so I you am, know yes. where to get your sugar and crumbs flavoured ice and sugars, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. So we're very pleased about that. And um, the, the modelling paste that Zoe's going to use tonight is all online. We've put the links online. You can buy it from us and you can also pop into Zoe's shop and buy it from Zoe. She sells the same as well. <laughs> and um, well, I'm going to leave you to it and I'm going to ask questions. So feel free to ask questions and I'll ask Zoe through the night anything you want to ask. And uh, let's get this demo on the way. Thank you. I'll leave Thanks. it to you. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. So we're going to do some cake toppers for Easter. And I'm just going to move these from over here so you can see. Can you guys see that? In there, okay. They might not look identical, but I did make these. Um, we're going to start with some modelling paste. So there's quite a few different modelling paste that you guys can use for this. I've uh, just been kneading some earlier. They're so cute. Oh, How have you come you. up with that idea? Do you just think of these things? I just, I, sometimes I look at different images online, like different cartoons especially. Yeah. You know, and see what things are like out of each different picture and then try and put them together. Absolutely beautiful. Usually they don't come out as a plan. But as long as they come out okay, it doesn't matter that it's not always what I've actually planned. So Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so, like a night on here. <laughs> I've just started kneading it. I've got really cold hands, which always means it takes me ages to knead my paste. So I'm starting with this one, but you can use a variety of different modelling paste, okay? And we're going to start with a little body. You probably don't need quite as much as this. Now, I'm afraid I'm not very good with measurements and measuring things out, so I just pull off a piece. Uh, yeah, I'm very much and like work, that. Work with that. So I usually turn out slightly. And if it's too big, pick a bit off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Just go by eye with if you think it looks okay. That's fine. So kind of a rough teardrop. Now I've managed to roll in little bits of fluff already, but I'm not eating this one, so I'm not going to panic too much about that. Okay, so it's really basic shape-wise for our body. I'm just going to use a little modelling tool, or you can use a knife or whatever else you've got to hand. And we're just going to put a few little line in like that. We're just going to create like the hip for our rabbit. And then we'll do the same for the other side. It's weird having an audience. Usually when I'm doing <laughs> this, I'm sat on my own. Just chill out, relax and enjoy <laughs> yourself. The show's all yours. Oh, I've got slightly different sizes. This rabbit works out more on one side. Than Everybody the knows it. What goes on in this kitchen is just for demo purposes only. <laughs> so if you've got a bit of fluff on it, don't you worry. We like the taste of fluff, anyhow. <laughs> so let's give our rabbit some feet at the bottom so they start to look a little bit more like a rabbit than what it looks like now. So again, we're going to go for a little bit of a teardrop. Now, if it's got big feet, that's fine because big feet look nice on a rabbit. So let's just cut this in half. My craft knife might be a bit small actually, maybe I should have used the bigger knife. Oh, 
So let me just ask you a quick question. Yes. So Kelly DeSilva yes. says, what is the best way to keep leftover sugar paste fresh? Um, just in anything airtight. I usually put them in a food bag, so like kind of the freezer bags that we've got here, um, a Ziploc bag, that kind of thing. And then I usually keep it in a container as well. Now, my paste doesn't usually hang around for that long because I use it all the time. Um, but it should still last quite a long time as long yeah. as it's kept airtight. I don't put it in cling film because it seems to dry yeah, out. Yeah, that's right. I was told not to put it in yeah, cling is film. It porous? Is it porous? Yes, that's it. Just let the air get to it yeah. a little bit. So in each foot, can you see we're just putting a little line in the end? So the fat end, this little thin end here, is going to sit underneath the hip that we've just done. So I'm going to put a little bit of water on this bit here. So we've got amazing bit. We've got loads of people saying amazing fa feedback, Zoe. They're so pleased that you're here tonight. Aww, Everybody's you. here. Love Zoe's video tutorial. Aww. So glad that you're here tonight. Um, I paid them to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they love the they love the rabbits. So let me just stop you for a second while I ask you a couple of questions. What's your favourite modelling paste? Um, oh, that's a tough one. I like quite a few of the different ones, and I think depending on what you're making depends on which. You just have to find your own best. personal favourite, yeah, don't you? Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the two that I've got today are both very good. So I've got like this Renshaw's one. This is a new one, so it doesn't dry out very quick which is good because it means I get longer to yeah. work with it. I'm so pleased you're using that tonight because I've never used it, so it's, nice it's fantastic. It is lovely to use. So do you awesome. want to tell them what it is you're using tonight? You're using the... So we're going to use the Renshaw's modelling paste, but this is the new one. So this isn't the old one that's the flower and modelling paste together. This one's just modelling paste, so it doesn't dry as fast. So you yeah. should find that it doesn't crack too much when you're working with it. And then for our other little bits and pieces, we're going to use the Saracino one because this one's pre-coloured. Yeah. And the colours that we want. So it makes it nice Great. and easy. And that one's quite nice to use yeah, as well. Yeah, tastes amazing that yeah. stuff, Saracino. So tell me, with the with this modelling paste, you don't need to add Tylo or anything, do you? No, no. So a modelling no. paste sets reasonably firm. Okay. Yeah. If you're using fondant for these figures, I would add Tylos to it. I don't usually use fondant for my figures just because I find um I have too much. And then it starts crumbling and cracking when I'm trying to use it. And also you have to give it a little bit of time for the tylos to kind of set in the paste. And I'm not very patient. So, <laughs> so, so I don't um, give it much time. Karen Naylor says, Carol is good at embarrassing her male guests. She, her son was blush blushing most of the demo. So they can't <laughs> see Richard blushing. That's why John stays behind the camera. <laughs> he doesn't know what I'm going to say to him. <laughs> Richard usually hides out of the way as much as he can. So I'm just going to put a little bit more paste in this for the head. So what knife have you used there? Because somebody said, do I stock it? I don't stock any knives at all. Right, so yeah, this knife, do you do um, web orders as well? Um, we don't have our online shop set up, but if somebody, if somebody messages, you, messages on, on Facebook, we can, we can post So that. Lynn Feather, you asked about the um, knife. Um, if you private message Zoe at Zoe Fancy Cakes, she can get one out to you. She can tell you how much it is and what it's going to cost you postage. Right, so I'll let you... Yeah. But, yeah. No worries. So let's carry on with this bunny rabbit, guys. I'm not going to ask any more questions for a while. <laughs> You're fine. So I've just tried to roll a bit of an oval shape for my head. You see they've got quite large heads in comparison to the bodies. So that's fine. Yeah. Um, obviously, the bigger you go, the heavier the head, so the more it kind of compresses the body. So on this one, I'm going to put a cocktail stick in just to help hold it in place. It might be a bit long. You might find it sticks out the top of the head. So I'm just going to snap a little bit off. You can use spaghetti, um, but because I'm not going to eat it, this is nice and sturdy. So it does yeah. the job. Children still eat it. So if they do, just make yeah, sure yeah, they make sure there's no sharp bits. <laughs> um, the bigger the head, just the more cartoony it looks. Yeah. Usually they look a little bit cuter. Yeah. The bigger the head is. But to be fair, if you're going to give it to kids, you're best off just popping the head off, aren't you? Yeah. Pull it out. That's it. It. So, for our face, this is where I'm going to try and work upside down for you. Right. I'm just going to move so these out the way. Do bear with Zoe, because she is going to try and work so that <laughs> you guys can see it. And it's very, very difficult to do this. Is that sure enough okay for you there? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my fingers in. Just not too heavy. If I press in too heavy, they're going to have really, really deep set eyes and it's going to make them look really angry. So just lightly, can you see in there like that? So it just gives them a tiny bit of shape. Just that sure up in there for you. Yep. 
This is going to be my chin. So I'm just going to press just lightly there so that we get a slight point so on the chin. Just that when you hold it to Down camera, a little bit. Down a little bit. when you hold it to Perfect. camera, just hold it and then John can get Perfect. to that camera quick. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Brilliant. Okay, so we're just going to make some little eye holes. Sheena McKee says, can you get any closer, please? We I've moved in since then. You've moved in since yes. then, have you? Right, okay. Okay, so you'll notice I don't always get them very even. Um, when you're making models, you'll notice yourself when things aren't quite right, but other people don't notice it as much. This is where you're all going to say, I can see it's not quite even. Um, when it's all put together, you don't notice little differences between each side of the face there. Okay, so we've got some nice eye sockets there. I'm just going to change the shape of them slightly by pushing in at the inside corner. And I'll move this up to the camera in a second so you guys can see it. Is that in shot for you all? There we go. Okay, so just in that inside corner. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just try and create a little bit of a mouth. So the first one we'll do is a face that looks like this one. Then we'll try and do the other ones then just after. So from here, I'm just going to draw a little line down and then we're going to push up and round and up and round. And you see, oh, it's a little bit lopsided, just pushing a little bit more either side of the cheek. So this is just like a soft rubbery tool, this one. It has got a bit of effort under the mouth. Can you go nearer to your ball tool? When you're on the table. Yeah, that's Just it. Like that's perfect there. there. Yeah, super. You're mm -hmm. right in the centre then. <laughs> so, if your hands are warm, you'll find it's quite soft at first. So try not to pick it up too much and play with it too much because it loses its shape. Now, I do have some paint from my blush oil. I'm just waiting for that to firm up. My hands are actually quite cold, so it's, it's not too soft. Um, any pink edible dust is fine. I'm just trying to get a tiny bit on my brush. So can you see, I just use quite a scruffy brush. Usually when I've ruined my brushes, I keep them for putting like the blusher on. And we're just gonna add a little bit of pink on each cheek. Okay, so let's put the lid on just because I have a habit of knocking these things over. <laughs> and they go everywhere. Okay, let's give them some eyes now. Pink eyes. Here's the famous question, does Zoe sell books on modelling? How many times have you got asked this, Zoe? <laughs> oh, I, um, I have been planning on doing a book for, for the last three years. <laughs> this year I said I'm definitely going to do one, didn't I? But um, it's just, I always end up short of time, but it is on the to-do list yeah. this year. But I do have lots of YouTube ones with lots of figure making things yeah. on as well. So just tell them then. So that's true then. So you haven't made any books, but you, you, you're you no. actually very active on YouTube, aren't you? Yes. So and I, I had a look at some of your videos last week. I've looked at your videos many years ago, but then I had a look last week and I sat down and watched a few of them. They are really good, aren't oh, they? thank you. No, they're really good. They're just good. too kind. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, we've got a mix of videos. There's some like cake videos. Um, the cake ones are more novelty children's kind of cakes. Yeah. Um, and then we've got like a few cake toppers, a lot of like doll cake ones as well. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in each eye socket there. Um, I'm just using water, but you can use edible glue. You see, I've rolled the eyes into little teardrop shapes. So I'll try and push the point a bit towards kind of where my nose is going to be. Oh, still got fluff in there, pink. Don't worry, we can't see the fluff. Can you not? No, don't no worry about it. In there at all. No, we like <laughs> we like fluff. <laughs> okay, so they're the, the basic eyes now, and they always look ugly for quite a while. So I'm just going to get some pink. So the pink, the pink one's actually the Saracina, but like I say, you can use whichever modelling paste you want. Let's just try and roll a little oval. We've got lots of people here who follow you on YouTube. Oh, that's nice. And obviously you shouldn't cut on the palm of your hand. That's stuck to my hand. I thought you wouldn't see the pink on the pink. <laughs> it's, it's, you see how warm it is in my hand, it just starts 
Don't worry, Stop. you know what, they love it when anything happens because if anything happens you can explain it away oh, and really? they need to know what happens. <laughs> when that happens to them, how are they going to solve that problem. Yeah. The thing is don't panic because usually it's not that obvious once you've stuck it on. <laughs> okay, so this one's got quite big eyelids but that's fine. So we're going to push this on. I don't want to lose the shape of my eye too much there so I'm just going to try and nudge. Can you see that bit up there? I'm going to try and nudge. We'll just yep. do the same on the other one. I'm just going to turn this round a second. This is where I usually find that I haven't cut it equal in half. I'm a little bit clown-like at first. Again, I don't want to lose the shape too much there, so I'm just going to nudge that up. And of course, if you've got little cutters, you can use a, an oval cutter or a round cutter. Okay. And then I'm going to use my blue eyes. All my scrappy bits of blue from earlier that I was using. <laughs> Um, Karen Cowley says, can you colour the Renshaw modelling paste? Yes. Yeah, yes, you, you can. can. Fantastic. Yeah, it's easy to colour as that. So you just use any of your um, normal food colour sort of gels and liquids that you'd use. Not the liquid ones that you buy from the supermarket, though. So Lindsay Cockerill says, will you be doing a step-by-step -step guide afterwards for your YouTube tutorials? Um, <laughs> Drop one, yourself in it now. <laughs> <laughs> if I get time, I will film it. Yeah, I meant to film. I, mean, I did mean to do the... Uh, the practice one and film it for YouTube and, <laughs> and a few of our regulars here they've not seen you before but they're really intrigued and excited so oh, that's great well I hope it's all right <laughs> and I'm we're sure we'll be it. they're gonna love it so two little balls for the um middles of the eyes in fact looking at those they might just be a little bit big so I'm just gonna take a little bit off so many of them have said how easy your tutorials are to follow oh that's good yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad it's nice to hear when people do follow them and yeah. use them now you've got to show your hunky self, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> That's Vanessa White. She said she wants you to show yourself. <laughs> Are you hiding round here with John? Yeah, I think it's yeah. going to show his face now. You've bigged him up, you know. So want to be a disappointment to them all. I'm so cruel to Richard, aren't I? <laughs> Carla Saunders says, Zoe is amazing and I can't wait to attend one of her courses. I've just started and she is my oracle. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, you deserve it. So, we'll put a little bit of black on next. Again, black modelling paste, you know how you asked me to <coughs> colour things earlier. You can, but I wouldn't bother colouring black. It's worth just buying the black. It makes such a mess, especially when you're using white paste. That little bit of black then, all you're going to get is black fingerprints all over your white paste, isn't it? And it doesn't go black either, it no. just goes grey and it goes really sticky and yeah, sometimes it's just easier to buy it pre-coloured and it should last quite a long time. Let's go with a little bit more. You can see I've got into the habit of using my fingernails instead of a knife, so I do apologise. <laughs> no one's even this one, all right. So we'll try my two little balls for the pupils and let's see if we can squish these in. Usually it sticks to my finger instead of to what we're making. Got loads of amazing feedback, fabulous. They love watching you on YouTube. Oh. One lady follows your YouTube and does make things with her daughter. Oh, that's nice to hear. I think you're going to have a load more fans as well because a lot of people haven't heard of you but they're excited. Oh be able to come back more often. Yeah. <laughs> That's like what we like, them. isn't it, John? That, those magic words. <laughs> We're going to come back. <laughs> Don't we, guys? Get those thumbs up and likes. Who wants her back? And you've only seen their heads so far. <laughs> come on. We're going to get these people back. They do. They, they've all repeated themselves. Oh. They've all said they want to come back, oh, which is amazing. Lovely. So we're going to give them a pink nose. It, it does look scary and weird still. And when you are making any figure, it usually does look a bit scary and weird. Pretty much until the end, when it all comes together. Because I know when I'm teaching, people panic that theirs doesn't look right, and they get really worried. All about the love it. hearts are going bonkers across the screen now oh. that they all want you back. Well done, team. <laughs> See, that's it. Sugar and crumbs community. Yeah, let's get <laughs> Zoe back. <laughs> so we're just trying to get a little triangle. So sometimes I can't shape it in my hand because it's too small. So I'll just give it a little bit of a nudge around. Is that in shot for you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. It's quite lopsided, isn't it? But <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. 
Okay, so mine wouldn't look like that. <laughs> you should have made one at the same time so we could go. No. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do some little eyelashes because Oh they're going crazy, cracky. You've only made you've only made the head and put the eyes on, they want you back, they're going mental. <laughs> they might not want me back by the end. Hey you <laughs> lot, you never say that about me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just putting a little bit of water along sort of the bottom edge of each of these pink eyelids. And then we're gonna roll a little piece of black. Have I got that in shot for you? It might be quite big this one, shot. that's fine. Yeah. And we're going to cut it. I'll try and fit yeah. Kind of so we get it If you can get a bit nearer. At an angle. There, yeah, that's perfect. On that. Perfect. I'll just roll that end just a little bit on each one. Okay, and I'm going to try and put the thinner end near the middle of each eye. Let's just make it a tiny bit thinner. And the fatter bit will go towards the outside edge. So if I just pop that on there. And on here. And then we'll move it around in a second. It's amazing how much the eyelashes can just change the whole dimension of it. <laughs> so we're going to flick, can you see the outside edge up mm -hmm. on each one? Oh, look at that. I've got a few love yous as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs> and then can you see the inside little point? We're just going to push kind of down towards the middle of the eye. Just nudge those about to be happy with sort of the arch that's on those little eyelashes. He's slightly bog eyed, but that's fine. He's got his own personality. All of them bog eyed. It's going to be nice, all three of them will have their own personalities, <laughs> won't they? It isn't. There's easier and difficult ways to do the eyes. So, this one that I'm doing now is probably the hardest of the three different ones. The easiest one is just to give them their eyes closed. And I think some people think it's cheating if you do the easy version, but. It looks effective and you know if you are struggling with something and you think oh it's not right it's, it's too complicated go for a, a slightly easier way of doing it you know go for a simplified version of something because it usually looks cuter yeah they look amazing with just the eyelashes they look great before you put the eyelashes on but it really looks cute now <laughs> you are being yeah. have you fell in love maria you're ever so quiet mm -hmm. do you know the audience hasn't seen you maria tonight oh yeah you're just in love with this face <laughs> <laughs> sent her to sleep <laughs> no, no so we've got a tiny ball of white for each eye now you can paint it in um but i did forget to bring some white food coloring so you can paint the little white dots in or you can just stick a tiny ball of white fondant in wherever you put it in one eye just try and get it in a similar place i realize mine's not quite in the same place or near enough so the idea is it's the light reflecting in the eye rather than the direction that the eye is supposed to be looking in Okay, now we will give it ears, but we'll wait while we've done a little bit more on all our rabbits first. Okay, so we've got the basic body is missing arms, but if we're putting them together, we'll need to add the others before we start putting arms and things oh, on. Okay. Wait a minute. So you need to come down. There we are. Yeah, we've got you. Yep, yeah, so this super. one we did the body and then we put the head on. Then we have to start adding the other bits and pieces. Yeah, before, before you put the arms on. Yeah. yeah, good idea. Yeah. Otherwise, it can be quite difficult. See, to kind of that's not so clever together. about you. You thought of that. We would have had the arms on and wondered. <laughs> we were really wondering how to cuddle them up with arms on. <laughs> it's, it's only really through trial and error that you yeah. find out these things. So you know, if something doesn't work out the first time, don't don't panic. <laughs> it, it doesn't usually work out the first time for me either. Or it might just be it's not as I intended it, but nobody knows that it wasn't as I intended. <laughs> So we've got another little teardrop for our second little bunny. Let's see, we don't want it to take up too much space because they've got quite big heads. The head will get in the way if I give it a big body. So we'll just do the hips, you know, like we did on the other one. Okay. That's so good how you do that. It's There's a bit of an odd shape, isn't it, really? No, but it's but brilliant how you've done that. And we're going to stick this one to the front of our rabbit here. So we're just going to put a bit of water there. And in fact, I'm just going to nudge its foot to one side. And we're going to push this on tight. So I'm actually pushing this one so the back of this rabbit is showing. Because then we can give this one a tail. Because I always feel like cause the tail goes at the back and you don't ever really see the back. Yeah. It's a waste. Oh, yeah. yeah. So a little bit of water on there. See, I wouldn't have thought of that either. See, this is why you're so clever. <laughs> <laughs> that one just push that on. Mine would have been all like that, like soldiers up against the fence or something. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't really have a space to give it a foot at this side, but you're not really going to notice too much, so don't panic. So we'll just give it a little foot at this side. I just want to make sure the feet are as big as the mummy rabbit. So 
So that teardrop shape again, and we'll just try and put a couple of little lines into our toes. Some water on the thinner bit of that. And then let's see if we can push that underneath there, like that. Okay. So that's our body on that one. I'll just give it a bit of a push. Because it doesn't dry overly quick. We should still be able to move things around and change them if they're bare, if we decide that we don't yeah. like it or that things don't quite fit together as we planned. So this one wants a big head compared to the body, but the head we want to keep smaller than that last head that we've done. Okay, so just rolling it a little bit, just to try and get rid of any creases and cracks. So if you do find that you're getting creases and cracks, just give it a bit more of a knead and then roll it really firmly between your hands. Who showed you to do modeling, Zoe? Um, Did you just start doing it by yourself or? You know, I always used to do a lot of arty stuff when I was younger and I used to do um, a lot of like crafty stuff with Fima. I used to love making little figures and things yeah. when I was younger with Fima and it was just really like that and I mean I have been to cake classes because yeah. um, I was doing it a little while and I thought oh, I'm so slow at it there's got to be quicker ways. So I did a royal icing course like after I've been doing cakes for about a year um, although I don't really do anything in royal <laughs> icing. It's not a strong point of mine isn't royal icing. Um, <laughs> And I've, I've done a couple of classes, sort of more so in the last couple of years, because I thought it's interesting to see how other people do it as well as how I do it, because everybody yeah. has their own different techniques. Um, so yeah, I did a Sylvia Mancini class that's really oh, yeah. good. Um, and Mimi Cafe, she's really good as well. Oh shit, sure. I've not heard of her. Oh, she's really good. <laughs> right, okay, so this one, right, we're, we're going to start the same way as we did with the other one, you know, with those little eye sockets with the little holes and we'll just press slightly towards where our nose is going to be. It just gives it a little bit more shape by putting that bit in the middle, but if you don't want that line in the middle, you don't have to have it there. Okay, let's draw in our little mouth again. So a little line down from where the nose is going to be. And then we'll push it round to the side and then the other side. Have I got that close enough for you guys to see? Mm, yep, perfect. And we're just going to push in slightly. Look at either side there. Okay. So we need some more white now for our eyes. Oh, my pink nose. And are you loving having your own shop? Yeah. What yeah, did you do? Where was you before you had the shop? We were just home based. Right. Yes, yeah, so we just did everything from home, but it just had overtaken the house. And because I run a lot of classes, um, and we were having students around all the time. Um, and I struggled to keep the house tidy. <laughs> we just decided it would be easier to it's try nice. and get a premises. It's also nice them. to have a shop, just have all your own bits in and then walk away and leave it sometimes, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, the only problem is now we actually have like a proper shop front. I help myself to stuff on the shelves all the time, yeah. which is um, really bad. Um, Richard um, keeps saying, just go use the one that's in your cupboard. <laughs> Don't take a new one off the shelf. But yeah, I, um, I like to help myself to new things off the shelf all the time. So I'm just looking for my, oh, there we go, blusher brush. Because I lose everything all the time. See, this is where I got myself to stuff off the shelves. So, a bit of pink. You don't have to give them pink chicks. I just think it makes everything look a bit cheeky when people yeah. have pink cheeks. No, I agree with you. I mean, and our rabbits in real life don't have pink cheeks. Do they? It still looks cute. Okay, so on this one, we've got closed eyes. So we're still going to do the whites. This one I haven't given pink eyelids. I say I haven't, I've got pink on my fingers, so they are actually slightly pink now. <laughs> but we were aiming for white. Oops. Okay, so let's try and get these two eyes a similar size. So I've rolled two balls first, compare them size wise. They're not, they're not exactly the same, but they're close enough. So we're going to try and get our little teardrop, oh, teardrop shape. Just try and get a tiny bit of water in there. I'm not drenching it in water, it's just a little bit just to make it go tacky. And we're going to put Put a big bit of fluff on that one. Just try and pull it out. There we go. Can you guys see that? Yeah, see? yeah we've got it. So far, it looks nice the same as, as. You know what? Just one. even putting that little pink nose on and cheeks, it just. It does make a difference. It's amazing it? how its personality yeah. starts, doesn't it? It, it changes. Change it. So on this one, we've got less to do because we're not adding like the blue bits and the black bits in the middle of the eyes. This one's just going to have eyelashes so it looks like it's eyes are closed. So the same kind of thing as we did before. I might have a little bit much black there. Let's go with a smaller piece. So a piece like that. Again we're going to cut it in half like we did last time with kind of a diagonal little cut 
on that. Oh, I'll keep that. Oh, well, let's see how it gets stuck to my fingers. My hand, palm of my hands are always a lot hotter than my fingers, so that tends to be where it gets stuck. If you do have hot hands, it does make modelling harder. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't do modelling, it just means that you have to learn to put things down and not yeah, have hold of them all the time. It. Yeah. So on this one, we're putting water on the bottom of the sort of eye. Last time we kind of put it up near the top, near the eyelids, but because our eyelids are closed, it's going down here. At the bottom. Okay, like so. I think I've rolled this one quite long. So the thinner bit is going to go towards the nose again. Okay. Are you eating Easter egg? Right now? I am, sorry. Okay. <laughs> You're not you supposed to give the game away, I'm on a diet. <laughs> I can hear the creepers <laughs> rustling about off them chocolate eggs. Okay, so the same as last time, the point goes kind of towards the nose still. And the outside edge kind of flicks up a little bit. Okay. Sometimes it moves around more than I want it to, but that's fine. See, that looks nice, just having its eyes closed, doesn't it? Yeah, it just changes what it looks mm. like. It? It's got quite big eyelashes, this one. I think the last one I made it does have much shorter eyelashes. That's fine, it just changes what it looks like. I think babies always have long eyelashes. Yeah, have a got that in shot for you yep. guys to see. Okay. So now with this one, when we put them on, I don't know how well you can see this. The heads kind of get in the way of each other a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're probably going to have to create a slight indentation under like the chin here and slightly on the top of the head on this one where they kind of mean touch. Yeah. Otherwise, they squash too much. You can't quite get them in place. So let's put the baby's head on first. We're going to put a bit of water on here. And we're just going to push that on there. Now, again, if it doesn't stick instantly, I'm not going to panic too much. We can just keep pressing it on and re-sticking it. And then this one. Oh, they, see, you give the game now. They all know I'm scoffing ch Easter eggs. <laughs> they are mini ones. Show them what size we've got. You've Don't got know. a bag. Oh. <laughs> She's eating these. It's all right, we've still got that spare. There is 50 in the bag, though. <laughs> Shut up, John. John, there's 50 in the bag. <laughs> So can you see that on there we've got them pushed tight? Because it's water we're using, it, it won't stick instantly. You have to kind of move it a few seconds to start getting a little bit tacky. So sometimes, you know, I make things and they slip apart. As long as you notice they've slipped apart, that's fine because then you can just re-put them back together. Can you guys see that in shot? Do you want to lift it up under the camera? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we've got Perfect. two on there. Okay. They love it. We can give this one some arms. We could wait while the end holds all three on, but we can give it arms now. I get impatient. And yeah. Bits that should sometimes leave till the end. I, I How cute is this? Ever? Right? They're all laughing at me in chocolate now. <laughs> I've got to rustle my paper so, so nobody can hear it. <laughs> so it's literally a little snake shape. I've gone slightly thinner at the end. It's going to be at the shoulder, but it just I don't know if it's the same thickness all the way up and down. How cute is this bunny guy with its baby? Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Press up near the shoulder and my fingernails do get in the way and I do sometimes stab my, my little models. Okay, so that That's one, my problem, my fingernails go in them all. They get in the way of everything, don't they? But if I, if I get, cut them off completely, I find that I can't do things. Yeah. I find it even harder without them. Story Can I just mention them. John's now eating the chocolate eggs? <laughs> over to see if Richard's joining you as well. Yeah, well, Richard had some before. Wait, there's a loads and loads of love hearts. They absolutely love it, Zoe. Oh, it's good. so beautiful. Thank you, everybody. It's really nice to show your appreciation, you know. You know, when people come along and they want to do demos, it's so nice. I know some of you, some of you always get so engrossed and you don't want to comment, but those love hearts and likes, are re they really make you feel good, they do, don't they? Absolutely. I'll have to watch it back afterwards. Like you mean to say you don't it. sit there and watch us every week, Zoe? What's going on? <laughs> I do see some of them. Sometimes I do. I'm not. I'm not with you every week, unfortunately. But I do. I do see some of your videos. Zoe Pace paid me a nice compliment today. She said, "Carol, do you realise how many people I see?" And they said, "Have you watched Carol's Facebook Live?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah when I go teach all over, people say, "Do you watch Carol?" <laughs> it's nice. So same on the other side. Can you guys see that on there? Oh. Your diet's going well then, Carol. 
I know. <laughs> yeah, Karen Naylor. See, Karen says, treat yourself now and again. There you go. <laughs> Debbie, the diet's going well, Carol. Yeah. They are only mini eggs rather than big ones. They are only small. They are very small. <laughs> okay, so still got ears to add, and the big one still needs a tail, but because I keep picking it up, I'm likely to knock the tail off the back of that one. So we'll wait while we add the third little rabbit. Because I might need to need a bit more paste. I should have given Carol the paste to be needing, shouldn't I? Oh yeah, you got the need paste. Do you want me to need some for you? There you go, thank you. You might not have any left though. You don't need to. <laughs> okay. So and you don't have to position them by the way, in the way I'm positioning them. It just it was a nice way for me to squeeze them all tight together, because if they're not tightly together and you've just got them kind of holding hands if you pick them up they're likely to fall apart if they're not touching in many places yeah. so we can get them to touch in a few places it just makes them that little bit more secure so okay same kind of shape again smells nice this doesn't it it does yeah mm, so you know i haven't actually ever tried it so i don't know what it tastes like but you're welcome oh. to try some Come i'll have a taste now just for you knowing like this one tastes nice the modeling chocolate i was considering maybe doing a brown rabbit well, you might have but to. That one I would, you might not get away to tonight, so we end up. In, in <laughs> <laughs> okay, so same again as we did on the other one. You all remember this, won't you? After watching me do it three times, <laughs> so it's the same kind of process for each of them. And then I want to work out where it's going. So if I put it behind the other one, it's quite bulky. So again, just gonna squash. This is the bit people worry about squashing things. Yeah. Because they panic that, that it's going to go wrong and that's yeah. it, they're going to have to start again. But usually it's fine. It's just, when she's done it a few times, you get used to knowing how hard to press I think that's things. the thing. I think you've just got to get used to it, haven't you? I'd be scared to death, though. <laughs> so we've pushed that on at the back. So can you see the bit that was squashed is the bit that's kind of gone on the big rabbit's hip at the back. Okay. Good. It's going to need a little pull at the front. A medium sized rabbit, I'll try and get the yeah, that's smaller. what I like. Kerry Jones says it's scientific research I'm doing tasting it. It is, somebody <laughs> needs to try it. Tastes nice. <laughs> Have you tried the chocolate one? I haven't, the no. never tried any of them. Oh, the chocolate one's lovely. I've tasted the Saraceno, which I think tastes gorgeous. Yeah, that's and Karen Davies stuff. Have you ever used Karen Davies the, sugar paste? Uh, yeah, the marshmallow. Oh, I can't have that in the house. <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere past my anywhere except in my mouth. And by the, I use the vanilla instead. The vanilla is nice, but no, that marshmallow is too good. <laughs> okay, I'm just giving you a bit little foot for the back. Oh, look at that! Debbie's giving up sugar for Lent. I never give up anything for Lent, me. I just carry on plodding through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't. The more I give something up, the more I end up eating of it. Exactly. So Debbie's <laughs> giving up sugar for Lent. She's doing no that. cake, no biscuits, no chocolate or sweets. Wow. Well nice. done. <laughs> no life. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Debbie, it's no life. It's no life. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Maria likes her chocolate. Give this one some little arms. How soft do you want this? Not too soft, don't oh, melt it. Right. Thanks. <laughs> oh yeah, that's quite soft. That's fine. Thank you. Okay, so just two little basic arms. He's looking there. very cute. Very, very cute. <laughs> so from shoulder towards the other rabbit. And then we'll put one arm on the back. Shoulder to wherever you want it to touch at the back. I'm just going to check that you can't see the cocktail stick on the main one as well. The other ones I haven't had to put a cocktail stick in. Can you see into the heads? They've been okay with that. It's just this big one because of the weight of it. Um, and sometimes it wants to roll off. So the cocktail stick just helps. But the other heads are all resting against something else you see. So they're just a little bit sturdier. Okay, so size wise, let's have a look at this. Yeah, Haley says I'm doing it for quality control, checking it's okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just press this one. So it's a little bit bigger than the small one, but smaller than the big one. It's about okay, I think. Now I might have trouble squeezing it in, so I might just press that body down a little bit, just a little bit more space for a head. So Jilly Bean Tools has just yes. joined in. She says, what's the modelling ma paste make, please? Using Renshaw. So we're using Renshaw modelling paste, not flour modelling paste, 
the modeling paste. This one, yeah. I'm so glad you used it because I've got to be honest, I've got it in our warehouse and I didn't know what it. to do with it now. Yeah, no, it's nice, it's lovely. So can you remember, just as we did with the other two, we're going to put little fingerprints in for our eyes and then our actual eye sockets with our ball and tool. And you, know, you might want your eye sockets closer together or further apart, it is up to you. It just changes what they look like. You might have smaller eye sockets than I've done. I'm going to go bigger actually. Usually the bigger they are, the, the cuter. Yeah. I'm going to push that point in towards the middle again. Okay. It's a lot softer, is this one? <laughs> you must have much warmer hands than me. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, so let's try and get two round balls that we can fit into those little eye sockets. It is getting a bit sticky. So if it does get sticky, you can just put a little bit of corn flour on your hands as well. So I've just got some corn flour in some tights. I haven't worn the tights, by the way, just in case anybody was wondering. It's just the ends of a pair of tights. So some water in there, our little teardrops for our eyes are now going to push into this. See, point towards the nose. Ooh, one's a bit bigger than the other. I'm pointing in a slightly different direction to the other one. Nudge that about a little bit. Okay. So this one has got blue eyes like the first one had. So like on here. It just doesn't have eyelids, this one. So let's find a little bit of blue. It's slightly brighter blue, but that's fine, it will be okay. And we're just gonna put two little circles in. If you've got circle cutters, you can use circle cutters. Um, but I usually find it's fine to just roll two little balls and squash them. Sure. They don't stick to me. And wherever you put it in one eye, just make sure it's in the same direction in the other eye. So you can see if that one's looking to that side, this one also wants to be looking to that side. They look so cute. <laughs> Caught it in the tube. Uh, Hayley said she used a chocolate modelling paste for a dog model last week. It was lovely to work with and tasted gorgeous. Yeah. See, another one who did some quality testing. Well done, it Hayley. It's really nice. <laughs> Once made, it's how long do they last, Samantha Goodman is asking? Um, they last, if you're not eating them, they last for years and years. Yeah, if that's you wanna, say. If you want to eat them, I mean, it's only sugar, but yeah. just whatever the date says on the pack, yeah. you're actually going to eat them. Yeah. Most people, though, when they get a topper, though, they just take it off the cake and save it, don't they? Yeah. yeah, apart from children. Yeah. <laughs> children like to eat them. Whether you want them to or not. Melanie yeah. says she can hear me and John whispering, but John and I are having a debate whether we should move this camera to your right hand, left hand side, because we've not actually used it. So we're just thinking next time we do a Facebook Live, we need it on the other side. <laughs> so Melanie, Melanie's got big ears. <laughs> or I've got a big gob. <laughs> I was told well, I could well, only. One's a certainty. I was told I can only whisper across nine fields. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lynn Feather says, "Do you have to spray them with glaze?" You don't have to. No, I don't. Karen, Some people do, but I don't. Yeah. It keeps them cleaner. Yeah. It's easier to dust them afterwards. If oh, right, that's good. And um, Karen Naylor says, "Do they discolour if kept for a long time?" It depends. Some colours fade more than others do. Yeah. The white doesn't really discolour, apart from it gets dusty, so yeah. you do have to keep them clean. Or oh, just wait while they get really dusty and then throw them in the bin. Oh, we've got lighting. Christina Ludlam's just joined us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. But now, um, I find some of the colours that I mix in um, don't last as long as other colours. And if I leave them like in the window, um, I've got some bride and grooms at home where the groom is pink on one side of his suit and grey on the other yeah. and it looks quite two-tone yeah. um, but it's, it's not on purpose, it's just where it's been bleached in the sunshine. Ah oh, right. Well Alison Smith says, Alison Smith Brooks says, I've still got my daughter's photo frame made out of sugar paste and she's 26 now and it's still wow. standing. Yeah. So I don't know whether she's had it 26 years but she's had it a long time anyhow. Yeah, yeah they, do, they do last a long time. I mean, I think, because when you buy a packet of sugar, I don't even think it has a best before date, does it? You don't need to put any date. I know when people ask us, you don't, there's no legal requirement to yeah. put date on sugar. We do, because people just like to see a date. Yeah. But that's when I say to people, you know, if they 
if they bought some in the sale and it's got it's near its best before us, so you don't need to worry about it. No, no, that's pretty much There's right, actually no legal requirement about it. <laughs> Melanie can hear us because she's got her headphones on. I'm gonna ban them headphones. She could hear us last week. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just moving around our little eyelashes. Well, Sasha Bishop wants a lot of the hard work there. Can you do a tutorial on that bride and groom? Woof. I run classes on the road. Yeah. Too. So there you go, Sasha. Um, Zoe does classes on the bride and groom. And we'll show you that bride and groom um, in a moment. So we'll show it you shortly. But that's, uh, yes. that is a class yes. session. There's no way you could do that in a live. Far too much work. <laughs> Crikey. Right, yeah. The bride and groom I've got with me today isn't the usual bride and groom class that one so that's slightly more detailed than how long does that take to make on a class then um so the normal bride and groom one which is slightly less detailed than that one is usually a 10 till half six seven kind of time yeah roughly if i finish not too much over if you like me time. with my classes i tell my classes we finish at four we've never finished before six yet yeah i have a habit of running out yeah so are you using glue or water to make the eyebrows water. stick? Lynn Feather wants to know. Water? There are eyelashes, but yeah. <laughs> um, Claire, Just water works fine. Yeah, water's great. Claire Atkin, says, so Claire Atkin has been asked to make a jogger. What is the best pace, please? Um, to be honest, either of these ones that we're using today would be fine for a jogger. You just want to make sure that the legs are firm dropping off if they're going to be standing up. Um, so when I'm making standing people, I make the majority of them in one day, um, but I'll leave like the body's legs to set a little bit before I sort of yeah. build on to the head, hair, things like that. Especially the hair. When I add the hair, it tends to destabilise yeah. all my figures. So it's best to give them a little bit of time to dry. To dry, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, if my cakes are going very far with the figures on, I'll usually try and say to people, I know you want... A really fancy position but the best having something that's safe yeah like a sat down position if it's got to travel somewhere and then you know yeah. it's going to get there safe then try and do something overly complicated um sort of position wise and find that you spent ages on it but it broke in transport yeah exactly so zoe so lisa ann clark um zoe she's asking you some of my models lean back when putting them on top of the cake how can I stop them from leaning? That's a good question. Um, so it's usually if they're stood up because they're quite tall, they want to topple, especially if they're not perfectly balanced. And it's really difficult to make something perfectly mm. balanced. Um, so if I'm doing something tall, I will make it on a polystyrene tier. So it might be that actually that person has two tiers of the cake yeah. and the bottom tier might be real cake and then the top tier will be like an iced polystyrene cake yeah. because then you can pierce your figure through the polystyrene and it just keeps it nice and yeah. sturdy then you see. No worries. Or you can put a skewer right through your cake as well, but if your cake's very soft and the figure's quite tall and top heavy, it will still tear through the cake. Yeah. Or you can make it on a cake board. You know, if you want to put, like we're going to put ours on a cake board today, yeah. and then you can just put your cake board on your cake. But I would glue your um, mm. figure to the cake board and leave it for quite a few days to set so that you know it's really rigid so that it's not going to topple. Good. Well, Lynn Francie, it says she can highly recommend Zoe's Bride and Groom course. Lynn has been to my class. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Lynn. Right, so I'm going to put a bit of water on there. I'm going to see if we can squeeze in this head. I do apologize, it's going to have to be me a second because we're going to have to kind of squish it around a little bit. So, Just Zoe, are you doing in. any workshops in Liverpool? Uh, yes, I'll be at Renshaw's. Yeah, so is that Renegade? Gade? Renegade. So is Zoe going to do a workshop in Renegade, Liverpool? I think that's, I think that's... Um, I think she means Renshaw, does she? Renshaw, Renshaw Liverpool, yeah. 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 So That'll be predictive text, I think. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> I've forgotten the dates. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I think I'm going a few times this year. Good. Yeah, and I've forgotten what I'm teaching. Um, but... You forgot what you're teaching? <laughs> I teach lots so of different things, lots of different places that I forget. Am I doing Friday and Groom again? Oh yeah, I'm doing a mermaid one at Renshaw's, I think. And oh, are yeah. Oh, I'll look out for that then, get on it. Are we doing the sweet pea cake again there? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Sorry, I'm just nudging around this little figure on this rabbit. I've made its body a little bit too tall, so its head's kind of... So Claire Atkins says they're mint, those rabbits. Oh, thanks, Claire. 
Now, Christina Ludlam says she's trying to clean the classroom ready for tomorrow's crack class, but she wants to watch this and she's having an internet connection, so she's going to watch it on YouTube tomorrow. Aww. She can't wait to sit down and enjoy watching it with a cup of tea. <laughs> Any classes do you propose to do in Northumberland or Newcastle? Um, yes, so I have been and taught in Newcastle before. I've put a big dent in the front of my rabbit. I'll maybe give it a bow or something to cover up. <laughs> <laughs> These things don't matter. This um, is it. So then no, that's quite interesting, Zoe. So now what will happen is people do make mistakes. So you put a dent in your rabbit accidentally. So you're going to repair that now, cover them up with a little bow, we're just are we? Cover it. Well, that's we what they want to know it. because the it. worst thing is, look how much work you've done there, and then you go and put a dent in it. Now, me and any one of our audience would be having a meltdown now, so they'll be ever so chuffed that you're yeah. going to can tidy you, that well, up. You probably can see, you can't really miss it too much. Have I got that in shot yeah. for you? So Haley was yeah. right. It, uh, Haley was Renshaw. It was a typo. Yeah. So <laughs> you are going up to North Northumberland. When do you um, think that is? So. Uh, we didn't arrange the date yet, have we? Newcastle, we went to it's Gateshead that we're teaching Newcastle way. So it's be Gateshead? Yes. And, and you, teach, which store is that? So Where it's not a cake decorating place we teach at. We actually um, teach at a place called The Kiln, which is a pottery oh, right. studio. Oh, right. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah. So, but I should imagine that's going to be on your website, isn't it, when yes, you do classes? Yes, yeah, yeah. We yeah. will put that online. So guys, later, go over to Zoe's Fancy Cakes and she'll she'll have information on there about all her up and coming classes just keep an eye out for when she releases them <laughs> do you do any classes in london you're going to be doing one at fabric cake soon aren't you um, that, well that's not london is it but i don't think i'm due at fabric cakes again am i have you just been to fabric cake then went last year all oh, right yeah last year. Well, gravesend i'm going to teach in gravesend again yeah there you go melanie she's going to gravesend so have a check out on her website when she's down there and it's cake innovations is it Cake Innovations, the shop's called in Gravesend that we right, go to. Right, fantastic. Yeah, and that'll be on their page, because we're going twice this year, aren't we, Donna? April, October. Richard uh, looks after my diary. So oh, right, fantastic. <laughs> See, and have you done one in Devon? A yes. bride and groom? Yeah, I've been a few times to Chris Devon. Lloyd says, bride yes. and groom course in Devon. It was highly recommended. Oh, he loved it, loved the true. course. <laughs> yeah, Chris is a good follower of ours as well, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's lovely, he's Chris, isn't he? And then the next place. one is, any coming to Manchester? Well, you've got our kitchen, there's a yeah, big hint, yeah. hey, there's a bit of class here in this <laughs> kitchen. Here, it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a talk to her afterwards, Lynn. <laughs> so both really easy, we're just going to use a heart. You don't have to use a Oh, heart you want it everywhere. We've got Sabrine now who wants you in continental Europe. Oh, fantastic. Where are we going in Europe this year, Richard? Sarah said, would you have children on the classes? Um, so when I teach at home, we have children, but... They have to be able to sit. I'm not very good with ages because I don't have my own children, so I don't really know the ages of children, yeah. if that makes sense. They have to be able to sit and concentrate for a whole yeah. day. If they're under the age of 15, they have to be accompanied by an adult yeah. as well. But the adult has to also be. Yeah. Um, Our Holly is nine, sense. and this would be a her cup of tea, this one's it. I think they have to be into craft, really. That's all yeah. Holly does. Yeah, the that's craft. it. She so would we, were gonna, um, we were going to develop some new classes that were a little bit shorter yeah. sort of more children weren't we yeah we're going to try and do some for summer holidays yeah yeah so i'm just gonna my bow is gonna be kind of half covered or half tucked in mm -hmm. but that's fine because it's gonna there be we go got one or two people are happy to come to sunny, sunny stockport here at the sugar and crumbs kitchen oh, so we oh that's good you have me here all the time you'll be like i wish i'd not invited her right so is there <laughs> any plans for another aussie trip yes i'm going november November. Yeah. Okay, and where are you going in November? Um, so I'll be in Sydney and Melbourne again. Sydney and Melbourne again. So there you go. There you go, you Australians. Yeah. So in Sydney, I'll be at a place called the Cake Decorating Cake Decorating Solutions. I should know they're there all the yeah. time. <laughs> um, and then in Melbourne, it's Duchess Cakes and Desserts. Like right, it. fantastic. But they can find all this information on your website, can't they? Is it on your website or on Facebook page? It so should be, but it's not on there yet. Right, it's okay. The so main thing to, is... Uh, we need to confirm the dates properly. So I know I'm going in November, but we need um, to know which classes I'm doing and what dates. And then as soon as I know, it'll be on there. But if people want to contact the places that I'm teaching, I think they'll message people out as well when, as, soon as, it's, yeah. Yeah, as soon as it's sorted. Yeah. So we've squeezed a little bell. Can you see that in there? Have I got that in shot? Uh, now I've got four people who've said that they'll come if you come here. Yeah, 
Brilliant. Yeah. And they're regular customers are oh, so fantastic. Karen Naylor, Wendy Preston, and I can't remember the other two. They'll find them down the list in a minute. <laughs> Lynn Bond. And the lady who said Sunny Stockport will find in a minute. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I'm talking to her in it. Keep putting those thumbs up for Stockport. <laughs> Everybody who wants us to come to Stockport, get those thumbs up now. <laughs> I will say it has took me since last November to get her here. It's <laughs> <laughs> not that I didn't want to come. <laughs> yeah, it does it. it takes me a while to get places. <laughs> okay, ears, because Susan is that they could be any animal, couldn't they, without their ears at the moment. So we do need to give them some ears now. Have I got that in shot again? <laughs> to be fair, because oh, you're wait. not using mixers, we could actually fit ten round the table. Don't know how much space you would need because it's all sit round a big oh, table. They need isn't about it? this much space. That so I've on got the dining room table in the hall there, we can fit ten. It's a ten yeah. seat table, yeah. isn't it? Modeling. So you could do that. Modeling is quite good because it doesn't take up a lot of space. Yeah. It's when I have to do cakes yeah. with it that you start to get. Because we've just space. got plenty of people here who've said that they'd like to come. Oh, well, that's there good. you go. Oh, two completely different sized ears. So, in fact, I think we've got ten now. Well done. That was. Don't crazy. worry, guys. That was super fast. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll be taking all your names afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so ears. We'll start with the biggest one first. Just roll two little sausage or oval shapes, and we'll just flatten them down a little bit. Um, right, Irish also worth her, add, to, add to her and Karen as well. I go on a few classes with Iris and uh, Karen. We go mooching around together. So her and Karen wants to come here as well. Oh, well we might not have room. Might have to take up both rooms here and there. <laughs> you might have me for two days. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A bit of video link from the kitchen and the yeah. dining room. <laughs> <laughs> so Astrid wants you to go to the Netherlands. Oh, you are in demand. Is it Astrid that messaged? Astrid. Uh, Astrid Brandel. Is it Astrid that messages us sometimes? Does she message me? Do you message me sometimes? I recognise that. I'm not sure. Astra, do you message them, um, Zoe? Because if you do, I think your I class is. I think your class is booked here, Zoe. I think you're going to have to do a two-day one. <laughs> there you go. Well done, team. Don't worry. I will be taking notes, and then we'll get some dates off um, Zoe and see what we can do. <laughs> so I've just put a little sausage of pink inside each ear. Oh, look at that. Oh, that one's so pretty, isn't it? They, in fact, they're so cute. The baby with his eyes closed is so cute. We're just going to give I can't the believe how you put it all together there. So we're pushing to the bottom of the ear, pinch it together like that. Now, I can just stick them on, but if I trim a little bit off the bottom, it just gives me a straighter edge so that it attaches a little bit better. I'm hoping I haven't made them too top heavy. And you can bend them around in all different directions, but I'm going to go for whatever balance is on yeah. the best. So if I put a bit of water on that bit that we've cut, and then we'll see if we can, oh, we'll see if I can not drop it. And we'll stick these on here. So they might start slipping a little bit, but we'll just keep repressing them on. Well, at least I've been asked to, will I do a class for someone? I, I've got one person who wants to come to me Nifty Nozzles class. <laughs> Are you going to come to us in Leeds, Carol? Yeah, I will do. I'll swear. If you That's come it. here, I'll come there. Yeah. So, Helen Price, I've got a class. I've got two booked on it on the 12th of May. The space is still available. So, it's the 12th of May, my next Nifty Nozzles classes. Joe Slatley says, well, you may as well add me as well. I oh, <laughs> love Joe. <laughs> so, we're going to do some more ears, just exactly the same. So Zoe's back in Australia, Tony, in November. I am. It'll be my third time back there. Yeah. You're going to have to comment all that on all these. So when you get home tonight <laughs> and you're in bed and you're knackered, okay, <laughs> you've got to go on here and comment on all these. <laughs> Something for Richard to do. Thank you. Yeah, Richard. <laughs> you have to answer all the comments. I will go through and have a look at everybody. So we need classes near Bognor Regis. Crack, you've been all over the UK. You'll have to get yourself a camper van. <laughs> Go on tour. So I've got a bit of pink in the middle of each of those again. Pinch that bit off. And the little one, I've given it ears that just poke downwards rather than upwards. So you can put the ears in any direction. 
we'll try and put them so you just see them hanging from like the back. So a bit of wash on there. Can you guys see that? No, because your hand's in the way. So you just need to... Yeah, there you go, there you go. So, so you've dropped him down on the back there, yeah. yeah. Just get the other one on. Just gonna have to go over the top of the arm, but that's fine. You only really see one from the front on this one, but that's okay. And then the other one just wants some ears. So same again. Did he get some bored watching you doing the same thing? No, <laughs> not at all, it's so beautiful. Okay, so again, two ovals. Just squish flat, and because if you've got cutters, you can just use a little cutter. And you don't have to put pink in the middle of the ears, you can use any colour you want. Because, I mean, I've done these for Easter, but they make really nice, like, baby shower toppers to things like rabbits. Have you made a Peter Rabbit? Yeah, I've made a couple. Because ones. Claire Atkins, she's made your Peter Rabbit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, we've got people wanting you in the United States, PJ oh, Michelle Hearn. Crikey. You best get started in the diary, Richard. Don't sit there mucking about. <laughs> you can do your ganache classes and she can do her models, eh? <laughs> then you can see how handsome he is. <laughs> I'll be looking out for you yeah, now. Let me just tell you. Let me just tell you now, Richard does all the serving in the shop if you pop in. <laughs> him and my brother. Does your brother work in the shop yeah, as well? Yeah, Aww. my brother um, does all my YouTube channels. And right, fantastic. These are the bit is to just sit on the desk and chat to the ladies that come in. <laughs> Who chats to the ladies, the brother or the Richard? Well, that's Richard and Stephen's job, isn't it? Keeps you too busy. Chief salespeople. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. So again, we've cut the bottom off each year and we're just putting a bit of water on. The water just so kind of just dissolves let, the Just icing. let me tell you this, Nesme says she struggles with proportion. Everything ends up being obese to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Nesme, that's why I, I, I'm such a chubby one. I make things big and then I have to start picking it off to eat it. <laughs> it <tonight. laughs> I have the evidence of where it started. Can you guys see Right, are we on there? Mm -hmm. uh, Twist it a little bit. That that's way? it, yeah, keep going that way. Keep going. That way, yeah, keep going that way. Down a bit. Down a bit, down a bit. Yeah. yeah. And get, twist it again. This way? That's it. Yeah, a bit more. There you go. What do we think of that, guys? Go on. Stay there, Zoe. What do we think of that? How beautiful. Oops. Down a bit. Oh, his ears fell off. We're getting back on again. Come on, let Zoe see how much you love it. Is that not beautiful, or is that not oh, beautiful? There's no other words for how cute that is. I'll turn it around for you. Again. Yeah. Well, the ears have only just gone on, haven't they? They have, yes. Sometimes yeah. they take a minute to yeah, stay. Yes, got them set. And you was tilting it as well. Yeah. So, guys, <laughs> how beautiful is that? Go on, show her how much you love it. Really <laughs> appreciate it. Oh, and well, I know it, people get See, we cannot hear the round of applause. So, the likes and the love arts oh, is the round of applause. Thank you. Um, oh, proportions, that's what we were on about, proportions, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, everything when in your hand you think is tiny, and as soon as you put it against the figure, it is so much bigger than you think. It happens all the time. Proportion-wise, I try and avoid going for realistic proportions, yeah. just because they're quite cartoony. Yeah. And then at least if it's not right, it doesn't matter because you were going for cartoony. It's when you go for something realistic and you don't get it quite right that it's, it's more obvious. So if you try and keep things cartoony... You can't yeah. really go too it. Well, it's like a fire did work display here with all the love hearts and everything. Aww. There's that many pinging away. Thank you, everybody. You know, it's so nice for Zoe to get all your appreciation. We really do appreciate it. <laughs> it's lovely, thank you. So what are you doing with the board now then, so Zoe? So we're just going to stick it on the board. You can obviously put that straight on a cake, cake because yeah. it's not too heavy. But it's easier to keep if you put it on a little board. Yeah. So normally I'd ice a cake board green, but this one's already green. Yeah. So it saves me a little so bit of time. I will so tell you, Zoe that. did ask me to make a cake today and to use my nifty nozzles. But I've got to tell you, I left for work at six o'clock this morning and Zoe will vouch for you. I didn't get home till five o'clock. So I've just not had a chance to make a cake. So that's why we're using a cake board. I'm so sorry. It's fine. It does the job all we need yeah so I'm using a daisy cutter and we're cutting out some modeling paste now this bit you could probably do with fondant if you wanted it just depends on if you want to keep it because fondant I think doesn't really keep as long as modeling paste um, I thought they were the same aren't they well 
I don't know, with some, some fondant that I've had, I've started to go a little bit weird textured ones, so I've had them quite yeah, a while, they, yeah. so I've thrown them away, whereas my figures have never done that, have they? Mm. Like a modeling paste. So we've got a couple of little daisy shapes, and then what I'll do is I'll cut these, and we're going to use these as like little tufts of grass. There, Linda, uh, Linda Taylor says that she visited Zoe's shop on her birthday last month and her brother and Richard were both lovely. Oh, thank you. I don't need to sack them. <laughs> Edwina's going to give these rabbits a go tomorrow. Oh, fantastic. Oh, they'll have to send me pictures if they have a go. Wendy said it's stunning and no cutters used to make the models, which is fantastic. We have for the grass. Yeah, well, for the grass, That's yeah. Fine, isn't it? So can you see it's literally a daisy shape cutter. We've cut it in half, a little bit of water, but kept it thick. So it stands it up. Can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? It just saves Aren't me you clever? lots of little individual. Oops, the paper is sticking to me. Saves lots of individual blades of grass being rolled. Oh, aren't you a clever girl? Uh, this is one of your Zoe fancy cakes. Oh, thanks, Carla. She said I shouldn't apologise. Any baker knows how hard we all work. We've got some tufts of grass on, you can add as many as you want. And then let's put some little flowers on. So if you're doing flowers, I've got pink to hand, so we've used it on the rabbits. Um, obviously, rabbits aren't real, so we don't need realistic looking flowers. So if we're gonna do something like a rose, we'll keep it really basic. You guys probably can already do this, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Little sausage shape, we'll just thin it. It sticks to my hand, but usually it helps me. Maybe not so much today, because it's quite soft. It helps me roll it up because it sticks to my hand a little bit. Can you guys see that? So we get a little coil. Can you do that just a bit slower again? Can you repeat that? Let me just yeah, see if we can get your hand around. right in front of the camera. Yeah, some right, so if you just do that again. Can and you then, see that? Yep. Yeah. Is it better to show it to that camera there, John, do you think, if she goes up to this camera? Mm -hmm. If you go to this camera, yeah. Right, let's see. Go on, let's see if we can, can do it that? that. Yeah. I think that's so a better switch. action there, yeah. And Sorry, then, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to roll it up so that you get a little coil. Yeah, that's perfect. We yeah. can see it really well from that camera. Sometimes well done. they're really soft, so just be really careful when you're picking them up because yeah. they just squish back to a ball when yeah. you grab them. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I knew that camera would come in handy at one time tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you're going to do some little leaves to go with our flowers, obviously you can do them freehand, but we're going to use a little heart shape cutter. Oh, can you guys see? Oh, I've got a hair stuck to my bottom. Where did that come from? Everything gets stuck to my rolling <laughs> thing. So we'll just roll that out, look for a heart shape cutter. There's a heart. Oh, I've got a different size heart one as well. We'll use the big one as well. And if we just put a little line up the middle of each one. Is that for the leaf, that? Yeah, just for the leaf. And then I like you clever there. I like that. Just, like, sort of fat bit. Or the heart end, I don't know what you call the rounded end of the heart together to get our leaves. In fact, you don't even have to push the end bit together. And then we can just stick these. Again, it's just water we're using. Just push them on our board. And we'll just stick our little roses on. Try and get it so it's facing towards the front if I can. Have I got this? I'm clumsy as well. <laughs> just turn it round that board. This way? Uh, to Richard, yeah. That's it. We're getting there, yeah. Turn it around, that's perfect. They are. Yep. Super. And obviously you can just yeah. dot a few of those around. Well, that's so cute, Zoe. Oh, thank you. I'm giving them an Easter egg, that's No. I've had them all. Plenty <laughs> foil wrappers for them. Yeah. <laughs> And you can use like your know, modeling paste as, as like glue, you know, if you just mix a little bit with water. Emma Ross says she it. totally recommends your classes. You are such a super tutor. Oh, thanks, Emma. Emma's, Emma's here all the time with me. Oh, good. Emma comes to loads of my classes. Does she, yeah. yeah? I haven't paid her to say that, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? It's nice when people return it again is, and again, it. isn't it? It is, yeah. It is lovely. Maybe should have used green rather than white actually on the bottom of those, shouldn't I? See, I, don't, I don't think I've stuck those on with a bit of modeling paste to the board, but I've used white so you can see it. Yeah. And I should have done it in green, maybe. Oh, it's just stick a couple of your green leaves in front of it. I wonder if I've knocked a green leaf over. Um, 
Let's check it in front. Sometimes I don't think of things until after I've done it, and then I think, oh, <laughs> I would have made sense to do it that way. Well. Trish Cooper, oh my God, how cool are they? Oh, thanks, Okay, so I don't know how we're doing for time. We are doing well for time. Are we doing well for time? Okay, so... Are you bothered about me adding more flowers? Did you want me to have a No, no, let's just leave it there. And then, well, let me just do it. Let me just uh, tell people a few things. Okay. What are you going to make next? Should we, should we make a lamb? Should a little sheep for Easter. How quick will it make it? Because Richard dropped me in with that one, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> How long have we got? So, guys, what do you think of that? Is that amazing? So, I am so pleased that you've enjoyed Zoe tonight, and I can't believe how many of you want to come to a class in Stockholm. <laughs> Never mind, worldwide. Look at that, worldwide. You could go already. How amazing. So, this is absolutely beautiful, and I have to tell you, I can't wait to sit back and watch the tutorial myself because when I'm watching on the Facebook Live, you've been watching, it goes too fast, doesn't it? So, you're because we're reading questions and stuff like that. But absolutely amazing. Oh, so you. Zoe's going to make something else for us. But before we do that, okay, I just want to read out a few things. I'm just going to get into Maria's phone. <laughs> so um, on Thursday, I did tell you, um, Bacon Heaven announced their winners. So you Monday night guys may not have seen it. So let me just shout it out. I've taken my glasses off. So, do you remember earlier on in the year, I said, come on, come and vote for us. It's a genuine vote, only your vote. So this wasn't just a one nomination like it was for the previous awards. <laughs> At Cake Masters, we only needed one, one nomination. But anyhow, for Bacon Heaven, they were looking for genuine votees. So, what we did is, we thought we qualified for four sections, but we won one of them, and we came highly recommended for another. Oh. Yeah, I can't moan at that. That's <laughs> two, isn't it? So, I can't moan. So, most enjoyable teaching experience. So, well done to Paul Bradford. He won that. He's an amazing guy, amazing artist, and he has agreed that he is going to try and get in a sugar and crumbs kitchen in June. Yeah, won't it? So I like Paul, great guy, but I did think we were going to win that one. But go on, Paul, I'll let you have it. So, <laughs> most innovative product for 2017. And that was won by Cake Craft World. And that was for the easiest peony ever. So that was the most innovative product, 2017, won by Cake Craft World, 2000, for the easiest peony ever. So well done to them. We love the girls at Cake Craft World. But I thought we was going to win that one as well with Nifty Nozzle. <laughs> so I'm not jealous in the slightest. Okay. Best supermarket buy, Dr. Oka Shimmer Spray. Got to give it to them. I like that Shimmer Spray. Best for beginners. Now, you're ready now. Are you ready? Who do you think won best for beginners? We did sugar and crumbs. So best for beginners was our flavoured icing sugar. And apparently it won because it was great for newbies who were just starting to bake in and that they realised they can use the flavoured icing sugars, not just the buttercream. You can use it to make your meringues, your macarons, your cheesecakes. Talking to that, Laura is here on Thursday and she is going to make a gin and tonic tart. Yeah, it's Laura who makes the fudge, my daughter, yeah. Nice. yeah. So she's going to make that, and she's going to make something with her Prosecco, so, but she's uh, having a few days practising yet. Okay, <laughs> so the most useful cake decorator, oh sorry, the best sugar paste brand was Renshaw, and as it happens, that's what you're using, isn't it? Sure, yeah, so the best sugar paste brand was Renshaw, the most useful cake decorating tool. So what do you think the most useful cake decorating tool is? Come on. Some of you heard it on Thursday, now don't give the game away. For all of you, who do you think won the most useful cake decorating tool? You're going to be so excited. It was Wilton for their turntable. I can't believe it. <laughs> but we got highly recommended. So I am so chuffed that Nifty Nozzles, the genuine Russian piping tips, came second with highly recommended. You lot thought the tool turntable was far better. What do you think, Zoe? We're going to stick with Nifty Nozzles. <laughs> I'm not jealous about that two turntable. The fact that you like that better than my Nifty Nozzles, fine. <laughs> so best colouring went to Sugar Flare. Well done to Sugar Flare. I do like their colours. Best brand, Renshaw. Oh, they've got two prizes. Best Sugar Face brand as well. Oh, well done, Renshaw. And the cake decorator of the year was Zoe Clark. So well done to Zoe Clark. I did think it was this Zoe and she should do it. It's not me. Zoe Clark, <laughs> is, fabu <laughs> Zoe Clark is fabulous as well. She so is, she is. She's yes. an amazing lady. So let's get back to this. 
So, um, just to say that the next Nifty Nozzles class, thank you for all of you who popped in on Saturday for that sneak peek I did there. I know my video in isn't great, but John was in Ireland, enjoyed himself while I was working, as per usual. So, and I'll just show you what we made. Um, all our ladies made a dome cake. I made this one a couple of weeks ago at Inglewood Manor. So they all went home with pink ones to these. And then I quickly showed them how to make, I don't know why I was making an autumn wedding cake, but basically, <laughs> autumn as it's now spring. It's but, so cold though. But basically I just wanted to show them some different colours. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Put it all together, yeah. Yeah, we can't talk about sparkle because no. it's non-edible. But it makes the cakes bling. But you're not going to eat that. Aren't no, you? we're not going to eat that. <laughs> so here is, uh, so we just, this is my little mini wedding cake there. And I just thought I'd make it up with some autumn colours. And I did that in class as well, just so they could see how quickly it was put together. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to buzz off back over to my corner and let Zoe make her little lamp, eh? We are just making this up on the spot now. We are we? making it up I on the spot. I can't promise that this one's going to Yeah. <laughs> Well, Richard suggested it, the good looking one in the corner over there. <laughs> he dropped you in that one, didn't he? You know, when we get home, all he's going to say is, they said I was good looking. <laughs> he's going to keep telling me. He's going to keep Should reminding me. Someone came to the shop last week for my autograph. And then someone came to the shop for your autograph. Well done to you. What, I'm out to get Asher Gay? No, just, just like me. Just like you. Well done. <laughs> well, you're going to have plenty of stalkers now. <laughs> now I've told them all about you. <laughs> okay, so. Might be getting divorced from John soon if I carry on with myself. <laughs> He's putting the thumbs up here. It's glad to get rid of me. <laughs> He'll be back before I know you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with some little legs. And I'm just trying to quickly work out whether I should do sat down or stood up. Have you done a lamb before? Yeah, so I've got one on YouTube. Because Ri Richard seemed to know about the lamb. Yeah, I did one last year for YouTube, and I think that's the one he's thinking of. Right. Um, <laughs> but with it being stood up on our full leg, legs, are legs, legs set a little bit, so we might find that I'd have to give it much chunkier legs that are a little bit firmer, or... Someone, someone said it's autumn in Australia. Oh, it's autumn in Australia. Yeah, there, I knew that I was thinking about. I was thinking about Australia. It, it's not summery weather here. So <laughs> it's pretty... Like, it's <laughs> I think that's probably why, yeah. So well done, Tony. I know my thoughts were about you Australians there, having your autumn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Let's try and cut this roughly into part. You'll see that I'm not very good at dividing things evenly. And you know how you were all saying earlier about when you pick things up and you, it ends up massive. These are quite chunky legs now. When I'm rolling it out, I always think it seems really thin. They all want to see the hottie in the corner. They've gone off the lamb now. <laughs> <laughs> so Tracy, Tracy Freshney, good evening ladies. I love Zoe's tutorials on YouTube. She makes it so easy. Please come to Grimsby. I tell you, you are going to have to hire a camper van, aren't you? You're just going to have to go and do a 356 day tour, aren't you? Stop over everywhere. It's 365 days. Oh, 365 days. What did I say? 356. Did I say 356? Don't worry. Don't worry. I always get it wrong. You've got your own calendar, don't yeah, worry. Exactly. I can't add up. I can't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> We've kept the legs can you see really, really basic shape wise. If you're doing things more in advance, you could do those thinner or add more shape to them, but I'm a bit worried that they might sink a little bit. Richard's on the chocolate now. <laughs> Richard's not supposed to be having chocolate. Richard's diabetic and he's not supposed to be sat eating the chocolate. Or the cakes that he eats either. Okay, so again, if you want extra support, you can just push a cocktail stick in. They're going to be way too big for my body now, so I have trimmed them. So I did snap them earlier, but you should really cut them rather than snapping. I'm just going to reach for my double pliers. I just need a little bit sticking out so we've got something to attach a body onto. Oh, I found another cocktail stick. Three of the legs can have a cocktail stick in. We're going to have one without, just because... You one short. I'm one short. <laughs> but that's fine. The closer the legs are together, the more support the body has, whereas if we have them further apart it means a bigger body more weight and then yeah. they're gonna kind of crush a little bit if i'm pushing them really tight together i can put water on them to hold them together then it becomes more like one piece that's quite a bit firmer and stronger okay it can be a little dumpy 
a little long, but that's fine. Okay, so usually when I'm making things, I will Google an image and sometimes a cartoon image, sometimes it will be like an actual animal. Can you just move your legs that way? Over there? I'm just gonna move my legs under That's the table. perfect, yeah. Um, Keep it there. Because John's zoomed in now and that's great there. Just there. <laughs> Just so we can see it. If I'm not looking at an image, I forget what an animal actually looks like. As daft as that sounds, because I should know what an animal looks like, shouldn't I? Yeah. Um, so we're going to give it a little body, but I'm going to tiny bit So what more. have you done? Just rope it into a ball, have you? It's just, I'm going to add a bit more. Oh, see, I'm quite messy. Don't worry. I'll tell you what, Zoe, you've not made as much mess in this kitchen as anybody else. <laughs> Ever, normally, after this, what's it like, Maria, this kitchen? Horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a dream to clean up tonight. So we'll start with a I've got it all wrong. John just makes all the mess in here. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch it a little bit at one end so that we start to get, you can see a little bit of a neck. It doesn't need a huge neck, but we'll give it a little bit of a... Now let's have a look. Oh, can you can see you the neck? Can you see that on there? Yep. Yep. Okay. Then we can push it onto our body. We'll just get a little bit of water on the tops of those legs. And let's see if I've made it big enough to kind of cover over the legs. I realise from my side it's okay. I don't know what it looks like from your side. Mm-hmm. Looking good. It's not the neat. It has got very big legs. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Some of us have bigger legs. Still it's fine. Okay, so usually with a lamb, what I'll do is I'll create this kind of smooth body and then I'll pipe little dots of royal icing onto it so it gives yeah. it like a bit of texture. And then I can't, I don't think I brought my scissors, so I'm going to use these, but you could use scissors. We're just going to nip, if you guys see that, for a little tail, because they only have a little. And you just nip that with a set of pliers, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, scissors yeah. are better, but yeah. I didn't bring any scissors with me, I forgot. And <laughs> they were to hand. I've got scissors, so we all you had to do was ask. <laughs> it was to hand. <laughs> it was to hand, it was fine. Okay, so now with this bit, the neck, the further forward it leans, the harder it is for me to support the head. So the more upright it is, the easier the head will balance and the body won't want to hopefully topple over quite as much. I'm just going to put a little bit of a cocktail stick in here, just so that we've got something to attach the head. Okay, I'll put a little bit of water on there because then that's got time to be going tacky while I'm working on a head. Got Sharon from South Africa, first time she's watching us and she loves making animals. Oh good. Thank you for joining us Sharon. <laughs> Hi Sharon. Okay, so let's give it a head. Somebody, um, Sarah said, what did you just wipe the bench with? What did you wipe the bench with? Was it the cornflower? Yeah, corn flour. Corn flour. Yeah, cornflower. Yeah, just in a pair of tights. Yeah. Not worn tight, they are. New Don't worry, you can buy your cornflower pouches off sugar and crumbs. Yeah. We've got them you for sale. You probably have more professional pouches <laughs> than me. Okay, so because this one stood on all four legs, I wouldn't be able to give it a head as big as I have done with the rabbits because it's quite, I mean, it's still going to be cartoony, but very big, round, cartoony. Um, it will topple it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to have a slightly smaller head on this one, even though it's got big legs. Like I say, if I'd had a bit longer, we could roll those thinner, give them a little bit of time to set. And it doesn't have to be overnight, sometimes just a couple of hours. The pace to firm up a little bit just helps. And especially because my hands are getting quite warm now. Usually as I'm modeling, my hands tend to warm up a little bit more and then my paste just becomes that little bit softer. So Karen Place, is that a board or a mat you're working on? I can tell you that Karen, it's actually a glass chopping board. And I bought it because I was Googling on Amazon for a glass pink chop chopping board. And um, that's where you'll find it off Amazon. If you message me, I can possibly get you the link. I can't remember what I paid for it. I <laughs> only bought it about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. They're nice, actually. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah. They're quite, because it's not, it's not really sticking to it. No. It was only the bit that I'd warmed up in my fingers that was getting a bit tacky, yeah. which is why I put the cornflower down. Um, if I don't need to put it down, I don't, I don't usually bother. So can you see with the ball, we've just kind of pushed oh, this is funny. slightly. This is funny. Michelle yeah. Carter. Hello, Zoe from Australia. Please come back so we can look for English cows. I am not sure what that conversation was about. <laughs> <laughs> so Michelle took me, um, looked after me 
Did you? Yeah, yeah, when it was over in Austria. Did you go looking for English cows in Australia? We did, yeah. <laughs> and I was most upset that I didn't see a kangaroo at all. Did you? Um, not? We did see a snake. Yeah. However, it was dead on the road side, so I don't know if that counts. Uh, That's usually you see the kangaroos as well. My son-in-law came out because my son and my son-in-law daughter live in Australia, and one night he came out and um, he was just getting in his car, and uh, he heard something. And he wondered what it was, and this big kangaroo was staring at him. And he, he said, he, he said, it's a giant. <laughs> Legged it back in the house, shaking like a leaf. And the kangaroo was at the side of the car. Wow. <laughs> yeah. No, everywhere I went, I kept saying, oh, I'm going to see a kangaroo. <laughs> I saw one at the zoo, um, but yeah, I didn't see any. Mary Thompson, does the board have a rough texture? It has, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it has. It's almost like a fur effect, Yeah. isn't it? Mm. On it? Obviously, it's not furry, but it's... Looks like lines of fur on this board, yeah. Ooh, we've got lady from the Caribbean, Puerto Rico. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so can you see on this one, I've gone a bit more oval with my eye sockets. Hello, Tamar. Let me show in there. Yep. So, up and down with your ball in tall. Okay. Still going to use white for its eyes, I guess. And I it was white originally, and then we're filling it back in with white eyes. But if I don't put the eye sockets in, you don't see the difference between. It's the eye the sockets eye. makes yeah. it pulls it together, I mean, doesn't you it? You can You don't even have to do eye sockets. You can just do a shape and just stick it straight on. But sometimes it just looks nicer if it's slightly more rounded. Everybody has their own different ways of, of working. You see, with the modelling paste, and you'll just find the one that works best for you, really. And it changes and evolves. I mean, how I used to make them when I first started is not how I make them now. You just find as you go along that you start finding quicker ways to do things. And yeah. then you think, why did I not think of that before? I know it is funny. When you start doing yeah. things, you, you do it all right, don't you? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And then you do find your shortcuts. Yeah, that's it. So we want two ovals about the same size. Hopefully these are going to fit in our... Margaret, if you private message me afterwards, I can send you the link. Is that for your maps? For me board. <laughs> I don't sell really the good. boards myself, they come off Amazon, they're glass. <laughs> it does have a rough te texture, Mary, yes. Put a bit of water down the top, something I've got eyelashes again. I like giving everything eyelashes. Karen Naylor said she loves this, watching it come to life. Oh, thanks, Karen. Okay, so again, like we did for the bunnies, I've got my eyelashes. Can you see it's warming up a bit because it doesn't want to come apart? The smaller the piece, the warmer it gets, and then it starts stretching a little bit more. One definitely looks bigger than the other now. Let's trim a little bit off the end of that. Okay. So, and I should really have put the um, pupils in first. But I got overexcited about putting my eyelashes on. Sticking to me instead of the face. And I haven't given these ones eyebrows. They've been, been animals, but you can give them eyebrows. It's fine. It just gives them more expression if you do give them eyebrows. I might give this one eyebrows in a second just so you can see what, see what it looks like. like. Yeah. We've got Michelle from Northern Michigan. Ooh, all worldwide. So you're on the bus tour in the UK, and then we'll stick you on a round trip around the world, eh? Oh, Look nice. how much in demand you are, Zoe. <laughs> see? Gotta get out there. We'll leave Richard in the shop, <laughs> entertaining the ladies with his lovely smile. <laughs> <laughs> with Zoe's brother. <laughs> okay, so on this one, we'll just do black in the eyes rather than colour, just so that you guys can see the difference. That you don't have to give them like a blue or whatever colour iris, and then a black pupil. You can just do two black dots instead. Danielle Burton says she's never made a model before, but after watching this live, she's just had a quick go at a rabbit and she's so oh, made fantastic. up. Well done, Danielle. That's brilliant. I like, I, I must admit, I like doing the models the best. It's my favourite part of like decorating. And I think people actually avoid doing models because they panic. Yeah. That what if it's not right? But exactly. It doesn't matter if it's not right. And usually you're the one that thinks it's not right, but actually to everybody else, especially if they don't cake decorate, <laughs> then they think it's fantastic. Yeah. They can't see things that are wrong with it. No. It's amazing. People can't see what's wrong no. with your cake decorating. No. It's you. Everybody's with, just, everybody's just critical stuff. of what yeah. they've done. Yeah. So Tina Pine says she'll be taking the three-hour journey to Cheshire 
from Herefordshire, north of London, to the Patchwork Cutters demo day. But she's just convinced her husband that she needs to take a detour to Leeds <laughs> to visit Zoe's Fancy Cakes. I think you should. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did, um, we did think with a demo at Marion's um, Patchwork Cutters um, the other month. It was really good. Yeah, she's lovely, Marion, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah, really enjoyed that. Yeah, she was very complimentary of you last week. Oh, okay. So, would the shape of your, of your... So, Claire Atkins said, would the shape of your sheet be okay for a horse, Zoe? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, you are going to give it a little stubby tail. Yeah. But, yeah, you'd stick the tail on after. I mean, it's a very basic, basic one. I would probably just make the neck a little bit longer yeah. for your horse. But, I mean, if you look at something like a My Little Pony... It's not really the actual no. shape of a horse, but it's, yeah, it's cute. just a cute, it's cute isn't and it? it works well. It's like yeah. you said before, it's a cute cartoony version, yeah. isn't it? That's it, yeah, yeah. exactly. Now, I can't remember what lamb's noses look like. I want to say they have a little V, don't they? I have no idea. I'm going to like your lamb anyhow. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to look very cute. Let's just put... This is where it could look like a cow, though, as well. So. <laughs> yeah, it's looking a little bit like a cow. If it starts looking like a cow, I'll put a couple of patches on. <laughs> We'll show them how versatile it is. They are. It was a sheep. Now it was a lamb. Now it's a cow. Yeah, it does look a bit like a cow. <laughs> um, when you are doing animals, that's it. You can do a lot of them pretty much the same. A lot of it's quite basic, and things like a tail or the ears are really what changes what an animal wow. looks like. Look how cute that is! How you've done that. I love it. And then we can stick this one here. We need to go under the camera. Yep. There you go. No. Let's see. And you don't even have to push its head on straight. You can have it, you know, at no. an angle. I think they look cuter on an yeah. angle, don't you? If you're worried that you end up with a gap, now we actually don't have a gap, I thought I would have, but if you do end up with a little gap at the back of the neck, just create like a little piece that you can just fill in a little gap at the back of the neck with. Yeah. You can blend it in. It's a little bit soft at the moment for me to blend it in, so I'm just going to leave it kind of stuck out a little bit. But then you see, you could add fur and ears to give it something. We've got a bit of pink in that. Bit. He really looks good now, doesn't he? <laughs> very, good, very, very basic. It's just amazing. As soon as you put the head on, there it is, isn't it? <laughs> and ears. Let's just go for two kind of little leaf shapes. I've made that out of shot, haven't I? Can you see that, guys? Janet Brown just said that's so right. She can always be. She can always see the critical. Yeah. We can always see the critical and the bad, but others can only see the good. Yeah, that's it. It's true, isn't it? Yeah. And I think sometimes it's other online things that people worry about, putting things online in case they get criticised. Yeah. You have to just not worry about other no. people. See, look how well you've relaxed into this session. For someone who was nervous, look at you now. I'm still hey. nervous. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm still nervous. <laughs> see, usually it's just me sat on my own. And then I don't realise that people are going to see it at another time because there's only me sat in the ring. So it's like, oh, yeah. watching. So it's good. Anyhow, so Heather, I know you've missed the first part. It is recorded live now. It will be on our YouTube channel tomorrow. Um, it will also be pinned to the top of the page. So as soon as we finish the live, we'll pin it to the top of the page. Everything that you see here today, you can actually buy on the Sugar and Crumbs Facebook, uh, on the Sugar and Crumbs website, www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, which is the Renshaw modelling paste, the Saracino, and you can also pop into Zoe's shop in Leeds. If any of you guys live over in Leeds, pop in, have a chat with Zoe or Richard, and they'll help you out. If you want to book courses, go on to Zoe's, Zoe's Fancy Cakes Facebook page, message them, let them know what area you're in and they will come back and tell you if they're anywhere near you. Not tonight, by the way, but sometime in the week. <laughs> so don't expect immediate response. They've got to travel back to Leeds tonight. Oh, look at that. How cute with his ears. Look it's at still, that. It still looks like a cow. He I'm doesn't. He looks so cute. You know, in the middle. So if I put a little strip with little like, indentations on. Wendy's laughing because she lives right in the middle of all the fields. She says she's just going to nip out and check, and check what a <laughs> sheep's face looks like. Yeah, I don't think it quite looks like this, but I hope. Oh, it looks cute. Around a little bit. If it does start twisting, sometimes I'll just add a second stick because then it's hard if I was to push yeah. it out. Stick a second. Richard Crompton says, 
Uh, Julie had to go at modeling a little dog out of sugar paste last week. After watching tonight's fab tutorial, they can't wait to see what Aww. she comes up with. Oh, good. The first dog was a bit of a woof around the edges. <laughs> I'm not sure they've done. But anyhow, they feel happy. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's, you do want to practice with it. And you want to enjoy it as well. Don't stress out too much yeah, no. when you're modeling. And sometimes it's nicer just to make things That looks so well. cute, Zoe. Oh, thanks. But yeah, normally I would just pipe little balls of royal icing then all over. Not so much the face, but you know, like this area here and the yeah. body. I probably wouldn't put any on the legs. But mainly like the body and head here so that it looks more fluffy. Yeah. Like if you've got like a little star shaped piping nozzle. Yeah. Then it gives you a nice bit of texture. Yeah. But I do have one on YouTube. It doesn't actually look exactly like Well, they all love the sheep anyhow. He looks very cute. He's a lamb actually. He's not a sheep. He's a lamb. It's only a baby. A baby with fat little legs. Jade I says, know. oh, look at that little face. <laughs> but yeah, at least you guys now know how you can adapt it into a cow. <laughs> So Vicky says, how do you come up with your ideas? I don't know, Vicky. I wish I knew. They're great. <laughs> Just make them up. <laughs> yeah. But like I say, most of the time, I'll see things on it, like online, and they can be like illustrations. You know, the children's books have really yeah. nice, cute characters and things in. And I think, yeah, I'm going to make something similar to that. And it never comes out as a plan, but... It looks it, good. It doesn't matter, because then if it doesn't come out as your plan, it's more individual. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes things come out better than you think. It's not always, but sometimes. Angie Craft Deacon is definitely going to call in to see you guys. She's only oh, half an fantastic. hour away. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, it'd be good if you could support. If you live in the Leeds area, do pop into Zoe's shop. She only opened in October. Yeah, so, so it's still quite new. Yeah. We are very new there. Yeah, so you're you probably can... best catching Richard or Stephen on the till because yeah. I'm not very good with working the till at all. So you get, you get your cake baking supplies there. There are also stockists of the sugar and crumbs flavoured icing sugars yeah. as well. And all your nozzles as well. And, and, and oh yeah, and, and the nifty nozzles. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry, yeah. Zoe. Yes, and she stocks our nifty nozzles as well. <laughs> and talking of the nifty nozzles, Zoe has done a fantastic YouTube tutorial on the nifty nozzles. I'm, I wouldn't mind getting her back to do that. You, what did you make there? What did we plant pots. Yeah, I know no, you made plant pots, plant but pots tell them which ones what they were. Which star nozzle? Which nozzles? Which nozzles? You, you used the star nozzle. I used the star one. Starburst. Yeah, starburst. And the other one was a rose one. I think it was the seven. I think it was the seven. Seven petal. petal it was one, stunning, yeah. I have oh, to say. I and it was, it was my stunning. first ever go, and I'm not very good at buttercream at all. Well, it was stunning. Avoid, but it was. They were so easy to yeah. use. Yeah. So go on. So go on. Zoe's fancy cakes um, YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Put your thumbs up. Have a look. And she's done a nifty nozzles um, video there, and it is fantastic. <laughs> While you're there, nip over to Sugar and Crumbs YouTube channel. Put all the thumbs up. Go through the videos. Put all the thumbs up. Let everybody know how much you like them all. <laughs> so is that our lamb done? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, he's so cute. Are you, so. Gonna, are you gonna stick him on this board with the sheep as well? So should we take him back? There we go. That's <laughs> quite. I just, I just plumped him on the She just plumped him on there. It was actually quite the most appropriate place. Should we stick it? I just, yeah. just went from where I could reach. Can we get him back in the middle of the Can we get him back in front so everybody can see? <laughs> I haven't actually stick him on so he might fall off in a second. There we go. So let's see. So guys, what do you think? So you need to come yeah. under the camera a bit more, under the camera this way. Here we That's go. Right. Back a bit. 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 Way. Right. Lift it up a bit. That's it. Yay. <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> down a bit. Are you doing this? No, leave. No, leave. Just, just put it down. <laughs> <laughs> what was that thing when you were a kid? You used to go up a bit, down a bit. What was it then? You had to, do you have to shoot it with the cross and bow arrow. What was it? Uh, was it called the Golden Shot? I have no idea. Oh, you lot are too I young. No, on the TV. Oh, I'm showing sure yeah, the age no, now. Look at you all. Got, <laughs> you've all got a blank faces. Come on, girls. You all know what it was. <laughs> so, guys, get those thumbs up, love hearts. Let Zoe know how fantastic. Look at those amazing models in one evening. Absolutely amazing. So. Yeah, we've got it there. Look at that. Let's show your support and appreciation. A little bit more. This way? Perfect. Perfect. So can we do a zoom in on that there? Do you know what? You plonk that lamb on there so quick. And do you know what looks really nice from here? 
It's the other bunny rabbits behind and looking background. in the background. It looks so good. Like you couldn't have got that any better. That looks so good. <laughs> so, so guys, what do you think? Come on, let her know what you think. Get those thumbs up, love hearts, everything. <laughs> So well done everyone for joining us tonight. I am sure you've had a fantastic night watching Zoe. What you've done is amazing Zoe. I am so Thank pleased. You. They are so beautiful. They really are really cute. And while we're talking about eating eggs, John, oh, Maria yes. and Richard are all scoffing eggs in front of us. Aren't they Zoe? They are. You've not had one have you? Well, not while we were filming. <laughs> <laughs> we might have a few before. <laughs> a few before. Not left. So we have been using the Renshaw modelling paste. We didn't use the chocolate one. No. But, um, oh, I can't show you the white one because she's used it all. So we've been using the Renshaw modelling paste. Okay, it's different from the flour paste. Oh, you've got a bit left. There you go. So it's the Renshaw modelling paste. It's not the flour modelling paste like you yeah. use with Marion and the patchwork cutters. This is the modelling paste. What makes these? Yes, it we've gives also you used. To work with it. Yeah, we've also used some Saraceno modelling paste tonight, only because it was pre-coloured. Okay, so it saves you colour in it. And this is amazing stuff. And I'm going to be doing a demo on this in a few weeks with the Saraceno. So I'm a bit scared now. I've seen them. So I'm sure yours will be just as good. We <laughs> see John's face there. He's like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's give you a little close-up of this. My bride and groom. Bride and groom. We're going to pass it to you. So which camera can we go on? Can we put, them, put them straight in where they. Yeah, so these ones are slightly more detailed than, yeah. the, than the ones I usually do. Have we got it all on, John? Is it a bit high up? What do we need to do? Yes. Maria's going to. hope it doesn't fall off. Is that yeah. on, John? Yes, hold it there. Hold. All right, fantastic. Hold it there. So, this is one of the yeah, courses that on. Zoe does. Now, Zoe does plenty of courses. Please pop over to her Facebook page, like her page, follow her, and also check out her classes on there. So this is one of the bride and grooms that she's done, and uh, that's an amazing one. And what about these two so little these, features here? So these little ones are from a basic modelling class. Basic, so we, yeah, we like it. I'm basic. scared already. So in like my basic one, we do a little seat, seated figure yeah. and a stood up one. And then students usually choose whether it's going to be like a boy or a girl because it's similar techniques and yeah. they tweak them to have different hairstyles, different hair colours. Usually people want to make their own children. <laughs> yeah. um, so yeah, these ones are ideal if you haven't done modelling before. Because um, usually people want to, they want to go straight to the more advanced stuff and then they get frustrated that it is quite difficult and yeah. they might not necessarily get it in one go. So it's always best to start, start more there. basic. Because actually you learn quite a lot from the basics yeah. and it makes the more advanced ones so much easier. I've got to be out. honest, I'd be well chuffed to come just a, on a Just a question on the Renshaws. Mary's yeah. asked, did they, did they come out with a new one called Renshaw Extra? That's a fondant, yes they did, yeah. Oh. Yes, yeah, so the Renshaw, Renshaw Extra fondant, it's a much firmer fondant. So if you're doing like taller cakes, it's not as soft as their original one. So it, it's better for covering something much taller. You're going to find you're not getting fingerprints and things in it quite as much. So John, let's just do a little. What is your What is your page called on YouTube? It's Zoe's Fancy Cakes on YouTube. It's the same as your Facebook page, yes. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So can you see that there, John? Am I in there? Do you want to get the other one, Zoe? So look at these. This is if you want to just start doing modelling. Okay. So Zoe recommends if you've never done modelling before and you want to go on one of her courses, start off with these. And I, I would be ever so chuffed just to make those. Did you make one on the course or both? They make two. They so make they two. make a standing figure and a step down figure. Fantastic. Just so we can learn the difference um, between how easily one stands up and how easy it is to sit one down. I'd just be happy to do that, me. Crikey, they are so <laughs> beautiful. Look at the detail on the face. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that lovely? Oh, thank you. oh yeah, no, it's fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. Let me just hold it and so I don't drop him. Right, okay then. Right, so we are finished early tonight. How about that, eh? You're going to be able to get up and have that cup of tea sooner. So let me just tell you what's going on now. Um, on Thursday, Laura will be here on Facebook Live Thursday morning. She's going to make a gin and, gin and tonic tart for you. And she's going to make something with the Prosecco. So for all of you who want to do baking on Thursday, Laura will be here in the kitchen. Laura, my daughter. I did try to get Laura in the office to do something, but she's not brave enough just yet. She's still a bit shy, but we'll have her soon sorted out, don't you worry. 
And then on Monday, I've got a fabulous lady coming over called Sue Pinnock from Yummy Cakes over on the Wirral there. Now, we get asked lots of questions about sugar paste. And what she's going to do, she's going to come over and she's going to use Marion's patchwork cutters. She's using a Karen Davies mould and I think possibly a Katie Sue mould as well. But one of the things that she's going to do is talk about sugar paste. So she's going to go through all the brands that we actually stock and tell you what's good for cakes, what's good for fondant, what about modelling paste, what's the difference between um, flour paste and modelling paste, Tylo, gum tag, CMC, glue. She's going to go through all of it because so many of you ask questions about it. So we're going to do it a learning experience, which I think is really good, isn't I it? So, yeah. Because I think what happens is you watch people and some people prefer that, some people prefer yeah. this. And it really is, once you've been playing with all these things, you will get to learn what you yeah. personally like. But when you're a newbie, it can be very confusing. Buy this, buy that. So Sue is actually going to talk you through each and every um, sugar paste, flour paste that we do and what firms it up and why it firms it up and why you need to firm it up. Yeah, okay. What, so you can learn a trick or two? No. <laughs> But anyhow, so that will be Sue Pinnock with us on Monday, 8 o'clock, be there, you guys, and Laura on our 11 o'clock session this week. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all then. So don't forget to nip over to Zoe Fancy Cakes page, check out her page, check out her classes, go to her YouTube channel. Don't forget us as well. We need those thumbs up and likes. And I do want to ask you a big question as well, guys. Any of you that have shopped off us, if you can pop over to Google and write a review about us, what you think, what you think of our products, we're trying to build that side up as well. Please jump onto Google, let them know what you think of our service. And so that, and it's all about sharing your experience with sugar and crumbs. And uh, I hope you do that for us. So that's a goodbye from me, Zoe, Bye. Thank you. John, Maria, <laughs> and the little handsome hunk over in the corner over there, who's... It's not little. No, I know. Well, he's short, but he's not that old. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what do you say to that? No, no, no. Nothing but one thing. He's watching, walking back to me. That's what happens, like. <laughs> I think we better stay live for a little bit. <laughs> we, are after, we are after nine, John. We can say what we like yeah. now. <laughs> I meant body time. <laughs> right, okay. It's getting worse now. <laughs> Bye. We will see you on Thursday morning and Monday night. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye.